Welcome back to Talks Chrome. I'm your host, Sean O'Donnell. With me tonight, Nick McCann. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nick. Uh, you went to a card show this last weekend. I, I thought real quick I'd, I'd get your thoughts. How long has it been since you've been to your last card show? Well, I go every quarter now because uh, this <laughs> this uh, show that I went to is in La Mesa. It's off uh, Lake Murray Boulevard. Yeah, uh, they're trying to do it every quarter, and um, it's really it's really a cool community. The guys, everybody comes out, and I saw some some interesting trends. Um, okay, Justin Herbert is yes. a at the forefront of everybody. Every booth seemed to have at, you know featured like the Justin Herbert uh rookie cards so that's a that's an interesting trend do you think it's like san, san diegans who like hate the chargers but still want to collect the cards is there is there a general feeling think, of like wanting to collect chargers i'm just curious i don't know i think there's a sh i think there's a sea change happening where mm. it's 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 because they're relevant and yeah. they have this I mean, undeniable superstar that in San Diego, it does seem like it's becoming more normalized to just follow the chargers, be interested in the chargers, maybe sure. not full blown root for the chargers, but I don't know. My dad has it on, yeah. on Sunday afternoons. And it's like, he's not really excited when they win. He's not hurt when they lose, but it's, it's but what still you do. Following along. Yeah. It's what you do in the fall on Sundays kind of <laughs> it's like having so, a limb cut off and you still kind of you know yeah. try to scratch it um i i think it's like that for a lot of people i i just i, I can't get there myself yeah but. <laughs> i can't either well that's he's awesome. undeniably great he's great i mean he's just awesome yeah. um cool to hear you going to a show uh yeah. I, I i've been meaning to make it out to one here in, in the bay area let's see if i get to do that let's try to let's pivot from that and open up some cards tonight on the show nick this is uh -oh. the, I don't even remember what box this is. So Houdini had like three boxes in November. And this is one of them. I think this is the late November mystery box. Unless mystery. it's the early December. I'm sorry. He's putting them out every week and I keep buying them and I just can't keep track. So uh, excited so to get into this though. There's and no, what are the trend? Like, what does he usually put in this box? Is it just, it can be anything at any time? Or? So usually what he's been doing is kind of what's come out recently, right? So mm -hmm. um, let's actually open it up and see, because there's been a lot of releases, even though baseball season is over, tops never stops. Uh, they keep putting stuff out. So we got some, some triple threads here. I, I know that from the side of this. We opened this on our anniversary live stream, which was fun. Oh, wow. And then we got some stuff in here that's a surprise. Probably some packs. We got a Project 2020 card. Very cool. We've got some CFB stickers. It looks like we've got um, some Orioles cards. Let's check out these first. And real quick, uh, hey, if you haven't yet subscribed to Tox Chrome, please do. Uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. Yeah, uh, if you don't follow Cheap Fun Breaks on Twitter, you should do that. And you can find out whenever they release these awesome boxes. Let's check these out. So we got a J Brooks breaks sticker very nice so that's a cedric mullins oh that's cool so this is from um the montgomery club releases a set like the entire set of tops and it's got the stamp on it so kind of cool there to get one of those cards from that set kind of a limited edition uh of the flagship 2021 set and then we got a really awesome ryan mountcastle that is when he made the all-star rookie team okay and so that's a tops now card so very cool. Houdini is a huge Ryan Mountcastle fan. Yeah. And uh, he's great. Stoked to get that card. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's check out the packs in this purple pack right here. Right. And see what we got. What did you buy at the card show? I'm curious. You sent me some photos, but what did you end up with? Well, I got, uh, I found these awesome. I, I love in 92 that the Pinnacle series, that was like my favorite card as a kid. So I bought yep. a bunch of those packs, ripped those. Um, yeah, they had they had some pretty good deals on just on the newer stuff too. You could buy, you know, uh, they had they had the project uh, project seventy yep. featured cards a lot. I didn't yeah. get those. Um, I bought my wife a pack of New Kids on the Block cards. Can we talk about those? And did she I, yeah. open those? <laughs> she hasn't opened them yet. She's, okay, because if she wants wait. to join, if we want a guest on Talks Chrome, <laughs> if Liz wants to come on and rip those cards, I am very curious. 
Yeah, I mean, we need a fifth host so we can all. <laughs> we do we need more hosts. We had we were going to be four <laughs> tonight, and then everyone quit on us. Nick and I love you. We're never going to quit on you. Let's check out our Project Twenty Twenty card. You're Let's... the Jordan. I'm the Donnie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go, girl. Uh, there we go. So that's a Dwight Gooden Mets card. Hey. That is that kind of famous. Ah. What is that? Mid '80s, the '85, and that is by Jacob Rochester. That's All cool. right. So that's a cool one. Uh, I I was of the age where I came about watching baseball kind of around the, the Doc Gooden era. So this is. Cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he was he, just like amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's basically when I started understanding yeah. the game. And he yeah. was just unstoppable. <laughs> so this is cool. It's a pretty simple box, but a lot of good stuff. We got an update jumbo. We've got 2021 Bowman hobby and we've got the brand new 2021 Bowman draft. Uh, I kind of want to start with this because I haven't opened any of these yeah, let's and I want to check it out. And I actually ordered some uh, from tops. I know some people have ordered these and they just haven't shipped them yet. We're kind of waiting, but when we do get our box in, we will open these on the show. So 2021, who did the Padres take in the first round? Do you know? Uh, the 21. Oh, the, when I name? think about San Diego, I think about that kid who the Red Sox took, uh, Marcelo Mayer, who's from Eastlake. He, he played at Eastlake. Yeah, no, that like, was a big deal locally. I forgot who they're going So one maybe it's was. Jackson Merrill. Uh, since that's the that first card, right. let's check it out. He this. is. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Look at that. That's it. So, okay. so instantly we, we pull the. Uh, what pick was he again? 27th overall. So that's yeah, the problem okay. when you make the playoffs, Nick, is you I get know. the 27th overall pick. <laughs> Um, but very cool. The, the Padres taking a shortstop, and uh, there it is. So we got him right off the bat. Does, it does look like we have a uh, some kind of foil there in the back. So very cool. So Noah Miller. Uh, I'm not going to go on the back and all, of all these and find out when they were picked. I know yeah. some of these guys, and we'll be opening a lot of this on the show, so I'll, I'll get kind of better educated with this year's draft class. A lot of these guys were not drafted this year, like J.J. Blade, but Jay Allen. Benny Montgomery, I think that's a good one. I'm going to look at him. He was, yeah, eighth overall. So pretty nice there. We got Chad Patrick, two first names. We got Nick York, and let's see what our foil is. Be something good. Frank Mozzicato. Oh. Mozzicato, and he was seventh overall. Nice. Okay. So the Royals went back to back, because last year they also took a picture in the first round. But very nice. Not numbered, just that kind of fancy yeah. foil. You know, there was a, at the card show, there was a lot of discussion about um, whether or not the, the how the lockout was going to affect the market sure. for these cards. I mean, I, how are these players going to distinguish themselves, especially with the, the younger ones? And how is that going to change? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, I it's, think it's interesting. It's yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. Didn't mean to well, cut just you be, off. just because like the beginning of that se the beginning of the season, doesn't that set the market as far as the prices and the values of? I think what'll be tough cards... to know at this point is just how long this is gonna last. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If if we're not gonna get spring training, there we know. It's Andrew Vaughn. Yeah. That's a great rookie card. I I haven't hit his rookie card yet, and it's got that he's gotten the old school. Oh gosh. Socks uni. It's late um, 70s. Yeah. Kaya, Tom. You know, it depends on on when guys are going to be playing baseball again. If we don't have yeah. spring training, uh, that's usually when there's a lot of helium on the younger guys. If if someone who's under 25 goes out and hits three home runs in his first week, people are going to start chasing those cards. So I think it just really depends on how long this is going to last. And I don't think anyone knows. I mean, yeah, some, some people know more than we do, but if some players play in like the Dominican winter league and like, what is that? Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know that I, I people yeah. are following that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure that does affect prices normally. Yeah. Some players go straight into that after, you know, before they come up. This was such a cool, this was the first game of the season. I remember that where Maggie cool. hit that home run in the snow. Yeah. Uh, and we got a Kirilov rookie debut, Billy Hamilton on his 80th team. Or Jorge Ona, Nick. Jorge Ona. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if, you if, you, if you don't like Jorge, it's Onya. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually Onya or is it Ona? It's Onya. Oh, uh, Jorge Ona. Onya. I like it. Onya. So we got a rookie combos of White Mills and Jose Goody. That's our gold. And that's going to be numbered to 2021. 
Uh, actually, it's not. Oh, because that's a gold foil. I haven't opened any flagship in a long time. That's a pretty sick Dale Murphy card. Jeez. Is Love he in that the whole guy. Thing? I don't think he's uh, in the I think he is, isn't he? Is he? Let's Should play a game be. of is he in the Hall of Fame or not? <laughs> By the way, Tox Chrome <laughs> played that game earlier this year when we hit a um, mm. Tony Oliva card. Yeah. And we were like, is he? And, he? and we were like, he is, but then he isn't. But now he is. That's awesome. I feel like we had a hand in that. <laughs> we manifested it. Watch that video right here in the corner. Ozzy Smith, very cool. That is great. Uh, I think those are going to be all of our big cards. We got a Taylor Trammell, a Sim Half. I haven't hit the uh, the Kirilov, not the Kirilov, but the uh, Cabrian Hayes rookie. I think we've hit the Kalnick actual straight up rookie, although we did hit that awesome auto out of the cheap fun breaks. Christmas pack. There's Luis Gonzalez. Lots of rookie cards. There's Joseph Anthony Bart. There he hey. is. Taiwan Walker. Chris Gittens, Matt Moore, Chad Cool, Josh Stalmont, James Paxton, and Hirokazu Sabamura. There it is. Yeah. That was our jumbo of update. Let's open this Bowman hobby. Let's see what we get. Sorry, what is the one that Ken Griffey on this cover? What was that? That's Triple Threads. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I actually have a box of that that we're going to open later tonight, and I don't know when we're going to film that, uh, release the video. Maybe we've already released it, but that's one of my favorites. It's pretty fun <laughs> and kind of wacky. Let's check out our Bowman hobby. See what we get. There's a Tejada rookie card. There's Joey Bart, Nate Pearson, Xander Bogarts. We've got a Kirilov Top 100 Scouts. Very nice. Trevor Larnick. We've got a Ishmael Mina. Uh -huh. For the Padres, Jordan Westberg, Ivan Johnson, and Jeremy Pena. All right, nothing uh -huh. too crazy. Hopefully, yeah, Ishmael no, I mean, Mina can pan out. Yeah, I gotta I see. Yeah, I don't. If know you if don't know who it is, it scares me a little bit. I mean, they they've they've traded off a lot of their yeah prospect. I you think know, they had still, a deep... he's still on the team. I think. All right, so we got one autograph and one relic card in here, okay. and. If I remember how to do this, the last two cards in the pack are the parallels, and then the two hits are like right before that. So I'll move those two to the front. And that'll be our video. So th thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Houdini, for putting together an awesome box. As always, yeah. I apologize for not remembering which video or which box this is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out and post it in the title. Wait, I don't know if I wanna. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's tricky, man. Okay. Yeah, you gotta look. Okay, so these last two are coming up here, and we've got Garrett Cole to 150. All right, that's cool. Yeah, that is. That's a, I like this design, actually. Javier Baez yeah. to 199. I like the, it is I like cool. the backgrounds. Yeah. They're just awesome cards. They're like super, you know, you oh, can yeah. throw it against the wall, and it's going to take a chunk out of the wall, and the card <laughs> will be fine. So we got Mad Max. God, that one's so thick. I thought I had two cards there. Kyle Lewis. Buster Posey, very nice. Uh, I'm going to use Nick York here because I think these are backwards to see what our two um, hits are. So let's see what we got. It is... Oh, it's a rookie. Okay, Nick. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go, Nick. Yeah. Joe right. and Dallas that, are not allowed back on get, Tox Chrome. Because they're bad luck. Yeah, We've hit two Kelnick <laughs> autos in a week, both from cheap fun breaks. That's so awesome. God, the, the, the Mariners have to be good at some point, right? I mean, they get all these, they have this, all these great They're looking for those players. puzzle pieces. This yeah. could be a big one. So what's um, this one? What's this one worth? You think is that a? You mean like how much is this card worth? This card I mean, is that a big hit? That's a big. Well, okay. Here's the deal about Jared Kelnick. He was yeah. like going to be the savior of this year's baseball season for cards. You know, he's coming right. in. He's going to be part of update. Uh, he was one of the top prospects last year. Uh, the problem is he just he has he struggled. You know. He yeah, I remember that. Yeah, hitting the the cover off the ball in the minors, not doing super great in the majors. But we've seen this time and time again. You come up. You have to adjust. He's still young. He's still. This is still a, a, a card that people are, are are searching for. I am stoked. We That's haven't awesome. even hit the. We only haven't got the last card yet, Nick. Let's oh, do it. Oh, okay. We still got one more. It is. Oh, we're gonna go this way. Okay, Jared. What do we got? What, what's behind you, Jared? Here we go. 
DJ LeMahieu. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, hey, <laughs> hey, Yankees fans rejoice. They love DJ LeMahieu. That's a pretty cool one. Oppo with his jersey. That is cool. It looks it's like cool. two pieces of jersey. So anyway, uh, yeah, I mean. That's a beautiful card. Can't argue, can't complain about hitting the Kalnick. Yeah. Stoked. Uh, I really enjoyed the Bowman first. I've, I've been waiting for those for draft tops. Please send us all our boxes. We, we're we're anxious <laughs> to get into them. Um, but that was our break. Uh, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please uh, sign up for Cheap Fun Breaks email list on Twitter. Um, follow Nick. Don't follow yeah. Joe or Dallas. Those yeah, guys, are, those guys are, are knuckleheads. Where are yeah. they? And, and go go to a card show. It's a lot of fun. Go to a card show. I might go to a Before card local. show this weekend in San Jose. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. But thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on Talks Chrome. Rip it. Oppo, <laughs> good night. Oppo, good night. Kelnick, let's go. Yeah.